Marbles. They are small, fast, and simply fun to play with. More importantly, these tiny glass spherical toys are the perfect way to get kids excited about physics and engineering. So over the next few videos, I'm going to show you how you can make some exciting marble games that are extremely cheap to fabricate. Let's get started. Basically, we are going to make four independent lanes that allow marbles to quickly zip around in different games that closely resemble the Olympics. Now, let's look at our inexpensive materials list, most of which can be found at your local Dollar Tree. One piece of black foam board, a bag of straws with flexible tips, a small bag of marbles, of course, 36 inch 3 8 wooden dowel, a ruler, and if possible, a meter stick or long straight edge, a three pack of utility blades from the Dollar Tree, hot glue and hot glue gun, a pencil, one index card, and 3D printed parts using the links from the descriptions below. Although you don't have to use the 3D printed parts, you might be able to use something in place of them such as popsicle sticks or Legos. However, I highly recommend you print the parts because ideally when I designed all these games, I designed it with the idea that you would have access to a 3D printer at your school. So let's real quick look at the parts I designed and printed. Their first part is the most obvious. It's the starting gate. It's the width of the track and has four gates along with a lock to hold the gates in place. I designed this so the marbles would stay securely in place at the same time and also would be released at the same time. At the bottom there is a mount for the 3 8 wooden dowel which allows the gate to be adjusted from an angle of 0 to 45 degrees. The next part is the base which allows the wooden dowel to go vertical so it can connect to the starting gate. As you can see it has four channels that allows you to connect other dowels to other bases for even more versatility. Also if you notice it has four small holes to allow you to use screws if needed to mount it. I designed the base with a diameter of 60 millimeters so people could print up to four of these on a small print bed of 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters. Up next, we have the track connector piece at the bottom of the hill. Essentially, it looks like a essentially it looks like the basic track connector, but one of the sides is able to adjust anywhere from 0 to 45 degrees. The pieces of the track simply slide together and it can be moved to create the pitch you need. However, if you look real close, you'll see these small channels. These channels allow you to slide a small piece of poster board between them to create a rounded curve at the hill. It helps the marbles roll with minimal friction. And of course, the final pieces, the hurdles and sleds. The hurdles are these small hanging bars that are perfectly balanced on either side. As the marbles race down the track, they will hit each set of hurdles, sending them spinning. Just like real hurdles, the racer will gradually slow down with each set that is encountered. Then we have the sleds. These are basically small blocks that marbles will push. You can see that these ones are curved to allow the marbles maximum transfer of energy. Let's start by measuring our foam board. We're going to make five pieces of track that each measure 10 centimeters by 75 centimeters. Use a straight edge to connect the lines at each side and draw a line. Repeat this process four more times. Now use a utility blade and a straight edge. Gently cut on the edge of the lines, holding the edge of the blade against the straight edge to ensure a smooth cut. You are just scoring the lines. You don't have to worry about cutting through the entire piece. Once you have scored each line, flip over the foam board and gently pull back each piece until it can fold over backwards. Hold the piece you want to cut upright and carefully cut along the seam nice and easy. You should now have five pieces of track. So theoretically, you could have a track that is around 12 feet in length. Now, take one piece of track and use a ruler to make markings at each edge of the piece. We will have four lanes, therefore this track needs to be divided into four equal sections of 25 millimeters. Make a mark at 25, 50, and 75 at one end. Go to the other side and repeat. Take a straight edge and line up the corresponding marks with the other side and then create a nice straight line with a pencil. Repeat this process for each track piece. Now it's time to glue down the straws. You will glue the straws on the lines you just made. Make sure to pull the flexi tip completely out so it gives you a bit more length. Grab your hot glue gun and place some small drops on the lines. This part can be a bit tedious and I highly recommend you do one straw at a time because the hot glue dries very fast. Repeat this process for each track. With the lanes constructed, let's assemble the track pieces. Since we are using the hurdles first, slide the hurdle pieces gently over a track. 
You can use a few or as many hurdles as you would like. I'm using five and spacing them out equally. However, depending on the angle of your hill and the amount of pieces you decided to use, your configuration might be different. Next, take a track piece with lanes and slide over the starting gate at one side. I would slide it over around 50 to 100 millimeters depending on how many marbles you're going to be using for the sleds later. Now you need to select how high you want the ramp. So cut a piece of the 3 8 wooden dowel in the size you need. I cut a 12 inch piece. Put the dowel into the base and then attach it to the gate. Stand up your hill. Now it's time to connect the bottom track to the hill. For this we're going to use an index card. We will be measuring 100 millimeters in length and then we will simply cut. On the index card, just like we did with the track, let's make some markings, 25, 50, and 75. Now, here's why we decided to use flexible straws. We need to cut off pieces where the flexible tips are for the straws. This is going to allow us to bend the index card and the straw easier. So cut the flex tips and glue them onto the index card. Now, you have four tracks on this card, Simply slide this index card piece into the two small channels on each side of the flexible track. So now we have a nice rounded track from the hill to the bottom piece. Lastly, if you want, you can add a finish line to help catch your marble so they don't fly all over the place. A simple building block plate at the very end helps catch the marbles as they roll off. I bought this plate from the Dollar Tree for, yeah, you guessed, one buck. Now, let's test our marbles. Make sure the gate is locked. Put the marbles in the gates, pull the gate, and they're off. Make the adjustments to your track if needed. If you want to use the sleds, simply slide off the hurdles and place the sleds inside the lanes. Let the marbles rip and see which lane pushes the sleds the furthest. You can use multiple marbles in each lane, along with adding to the lengths of your sleds. This allows your kids to test this even further. So that's it, a cheap and fast marble track that allows your kids to emulate the Olympics while also having fun discovering how physics work in action. You can make as many track pieces as you need just by simply buying some more foam board and straws. This creates hours of fun and learning. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.